Hey guys, I'm back again. So uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video here looking at the main failures of the Moto G 2015 uh, when you compare it against the Moto E 2015 uh, and uh, as I said uh, in the review video overall I think it's a very competent device however I do think that uh, the Moto E 2015 actually has kind of uh, supplanted uh, the Moto G when it comes to value for money uh, as well as the feature set which is quite peculiar given that the G series is supposed to be like uh, the more higher end kind of series here uh, and I uh, just want to just do a little video here covering the main uh, grievances I have with the new Moto G uh, which I found comparing against the Moto E and the first main thing which uh, I'm not really enjoying is the fact that uh, they haven't included the Moto display technology uh, like you do have here on the Moto E which uh, hopefully when I install this app here we will be able to see it in action uh, it carries over from the um, Moto X kind of uh, feature which uh, used to be called the active display uh, I don't know if it's going to come up with it here, it might do, might not but uh, when it does come up it's usually very good okay, there we go so you can see here it's coming up flashing there with the clock uh, but usually it would come up with like uh, an app or a notification or something and then all you need to do then is just slide it to one side then you can see what the notification says etc uh, and uh, also you can use it uh, to get into the device very quickly here as you can see uh, you don't have to faff around like on the Moto G here you don't have any like means to get into the device really quickly uh, and I find that to be quite bad really when you consider it's a two 2015 device most devices nowadays do support like double tap to get into the screen uh, and uh, other than that the other thing which uh, I'm not particularly too chuffed about is the omission of the ability to get into the camera really quickly uh, using the shake gesture now this is another thing which came from the Moto X which seems to have made its way to the Moto E uh, but not the Moto G so if you like out and about and you want to just take a picture of something uh, you can just give it a shake like that and BAM you're into the camera which is a really awesome feature if you ask me uh, I think uh, you know it really like lessens the time that it takes to get into the camera app here uh, which uh, you know you'll be faffing around for quite a long time here trying to get into the camera app uh, you know you have to click this button then you have to swipe down here which takes you know more effort than it should do I think it would have been very easy for Motorola to have like put that uh, feature in the new Moto G however I do wish that they had kept the kind of vibrate kind of feeling when it does do it because uh, when it does do it it doesn't do the vibrate like on the Moto X uh, so I um, don't know if you can hear but I'll do it again here you can hear that it just does like two kind of clicks uh, I did like the raw kind of uh, like growling type of vibrate before that we saw on the Moto X so maybe something to remember there uh, and uh, other than that the other thing which I think is a bit of a failure here uh, is the fact that the Moto E as far as I'm aware, uh, has a Snapdragon 410 processor, which uh, I just want to double check this actually, because I don't want to be throwing out their uh, errors. So let's just double check this. So you can see here. Uh, the processor is a Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon 410 and that's uh, paired with an Adreno 306 here 
Uh, so uh, I've seen some uh, like websites benchmarking uh, this particular processor against the Snapdragon 400, and there's definitely gains to be had there in terms of the performance. I do think that while the 400 can uh, give a reasonable experience in regards to Android, you certainly do notice the uh, additional like speed here with the uh, Moto E which I don't actually get that kind of feeling of snappiness on the Moto G quite as much although it did come up with that quicker there but in general I found the Moto E uh, smaller version to be very fast so that's a bit of an omission if you ask me uh, I think that uh, Motorola could have easily put the 410 in here and kept the price relatively good and uh, the other thing really talking about the price is obviously the fact that this you can have for about a hundred now which is a really good value for money whereas a Moto G has just come out uh, for about 150 odd to 200 which I think when you consider that many of the features here are very similar like uh, for example they both film in 720p that uh, is probably a lot of money to be spending really uh, when you consider the only real benefits here of the Moto G is obviously the 720p display which is a bit bigger uh, the slightly better back camera as well as the speakers here on the front however they both have like 4G uh, both have micro SD both have very good battery life so in fact I'd say the Moto E has a better battery life than the Moto G even though it is a smaller capacity, uh, I'm getting two days no issues with the Moto E. So, quite interesting how uh, it does have a better battery life here. And that's another thing as well. I was mentioning the video recording. Uh, I think it's quite poor here that uh, Moto did not actually include like full HD here uh, when it comes to the video recording, uh, which uh, I think uh, in 2000. 15 when you have like uh, sub 100 devices giving us like full HD uh, that's quite annoying really I would have liked to have seen that on the Moto G here uh, so uh, I think uh, overall as I said I do like the device I think that it's still a very good device at what it does uh, but I think that the Moto E here uh, represents better value for money in many ways and in many ways I think supplants the kind of like Moto G focus on and uh, real good uh, value for money so uh, yeah just a quick little video here looking at the ways I think the Moto E is an awesome phone uh, and I uh, hope you did enjoy and I'll see you next time cheers